Our first YouTube video does not require a large budget to turn out great. Let's go over some tips to help you film a great first YouTube video. Once again, we are joined by our friend Thad. We are taking him from being a complete YouTube beginner to posting his first video. So if you want to follow along on his journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm just setting up the tripod for Thad's first video shoot. Our recommendation when it comes to equipment for your first video is to keep it really simple and to not spend any money on your setup. Team Archon's equipment setup is about as simple as it gets. We use a tripod like this one, which is helpful for setting up shots, but certainly not required, and an iPhone camera. The quality of an iPhone camera is fine, especially for people that are just beginning their YouTube channels. You should spend the majority of your prep time in preparing good content. Viewers will ultimately watch and subscribe to your channel because of your content, not because of the resolution of your camera. Our first tip is to feel comfortable before you start filming. You should feel comfortable with where you are filming, with what you will be saying, and with what you are wearing. There are no rules for creating a YouTube video, but however you decide to film it, make sure that you are comfortable. If you aren't, it will be obvious to the viewer and you also will not be able to give your best performance. Thad, I noticed that you're fidgeting quite a bit over there. Is everything okay? I know we're filming today, man. I know we're filming. And I'm, I'm not comfortable. This shirt, this shirt, man. This shirt's too big. This shirt's too big. I'm just not comfortable in this. I'm not comfortable. Oh yeah, this is much better. I'm ready to rock and roll, baby! <laughs> Our next tip for filming your first video is to keep your viewers' attention. It is no secret that the YouTube algorithm is biased towards content creators who have a long average view duration. So one of the main goals of our videos should be to keep our viewers engaged for as long as possible. Typical ways of doing this are by adding movement or sound effects in the editing process or by actually moving the camera around as you film. That, to demonstrate the effect that movement has, let's take two takes of your opening sequence. One with limited movement, and the other with a lot of movement. What's up guys, it's Thad. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you some tips for how to pick up women in the gym. Mm. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Thad. But my full name is actually Thad, just in case you were wondering. Today, I'm gonna to teach you some tips for how to pick up chicks at the gym. Why is the camera in the microwave? <laughs> Cause this video is about to heat up your love life. Now let's get into it. <laughs> Viewers will most likely be much more interested in the second shot and thus more likely to keep watching that video. The longer the average view, the more likely it is that the YouTube algorithm will recommend your video to other viewers, and the more likely it is that your channel will start to grow. Our third tip is to create your own style. Just because many large content creators on YouTube film or act in similar manners in their videos does not mean that you have to try to copy them. Focus on being who you are. By creating and trying to grow a YouTube channel, you are creating your own brand. Make sure that you are building a brand that you can be proud of. That, what are you reading over there? I'm just trying to use this dictionary to like add some big words to my script because like, I notice a lot of YouTubers come across as like really smart. That, that is just not who you are. You are a talented ladies man, but you just don't use big words. Just embrace who you are. Your viewers will be able to tell if you aren't being authentic to yourself. You right, you right. I'll just try to be auth, uh, auth, authentic. Yeah, 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 what, what you said, man, what you said. <laughs> that is great, That I am proud of how far you have come. Remember the tips that we went over in this video, and I'm sure that your channel will be a big hit in no time. 
This has been Luke from Team Argon. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We will be back right here next Wednesday as we share some tips with Thad for how to optimize his video for maximum views. We will see you then.